Raptor going to be working its way in fairly quickly from the one roster as they, excuse me, from the 100 Thieves roster as they try to push their way towards the A site. A pretty concerned push. We had Thief on that aggressive position up on top of the right box gates. Big pick from Nitro there to even it back out. Unfortunately, no spike plant just as of yet here. So for the time being, V1 are holding strong, especially with how they've been able to re-aggress in ever since Penny dashed out a few moments ago. Two big picks coming in there from Whippy, and that might seal the deal. In fact, it does as Whippy comes in for a third. So they won't be able to wall. Instead, they're just going to have to try and contest as long as possible and attempt to get this plant down. But either way... 100 themes. Oh, excuse me. Actually, not having the sage there. Apologies on my end. Just used to rereading the HUD again. But Asuna nice. actually with a big triple kill with Heroes will take down Vanity. Nitro with yet another one. And this is looking like the first 100 Thieves offense that's going to go for 100 Thieves to try and push through this. And it seems to be Asuna to try and get the job done in tow with an Owl drone from Hiko. He can't find the Viper inside of here, though. Whippy on the far side. He'll turn around. And he actually ends up getting one. He'll use the Dismiss to get out as well. He starts to reclaim his health from that decay. Ethan slowly creeping up. Is Penny going to expect it on the inside? Maybe one, but wasn't expecting Steel to be with Ethan here as well as the two of them make quick work of the elimination against Penny. That's going to completely open up the floodgates for the rest of the team to work their way out onto this B side as well. Vanity is here. They might not know he's this close and inside of the smoke. Moves out, finds the first one. Will he catch the player over towards the big cubby though? Is Ethan not able to catch the trade? He's not going to look for it either. It's too chaotic. Vanity's been given too much time, so he escapes. We are going to see the corresponding Vipers pit come out from the attackers here now, but Vanity still close to the inside. He finds Ethan, takes him down, and we're in a three-on-three. Three. Locked in now, and also Spike in the hands of V1, but it doesn't seem like Nitro. Oh, can he get it? brain back and forth. Will we eventually get Thief? Oh, no, but now it's down to the 1v1. Vanity with literally a single HP, but starting to get his health back now. Asuna, ready for the fight at any moment. Holding things down on yellow, and he knows that all he has to do is play good defense here, and he'll get it done. It's another trip in hands. So a little bit more resistance coming out. Immediately, it's going to strike true as well. Suna tries to push forward and is finally punished out. A rare chain of events for what's been transpiring more recently. 100 Thieves losing one of the most impactful players. But again, it's all slight bait as they're trying to shift very quickly through mid, under the tunnel, and into B. But Whippy's caught it and taken two players with him. Hasn't stopped the spike and steals on the way to put that down now. Might very well get it here also, but he has had to interrupt it. Pico has been lost. It's not going to be too much longer before Steel is also caught out. Where are we going? What are we doing? You don't necessarily know. You'll have to start dedicating utility places and try and figure it out. Vanity will have the first read on Kitchen as he gets taken down. 100 Thieves flood in. Whippy with a possible play here. He'll be able to get one. Can he get the second and the third? Whippy shuts him down inside of Kitchen. It's all down to Ethan. Might have been able to use the ult for some intel, but you're going to need a lot more than intel to win this one, my friend. It's Whippy with a 4k. For now, this is about the same point in the round where 100 Thieves has usually been pushing up pipes, so he's just checking it to see if they were doing that. In fact, they were. So once again, the strategy's been revealed. They're still going to commit to it more than likely, probably just not through pipe. It looks like they're going underneath of it instead and trying to get control there. You can see Whippy taking these little bits and chunks of damage. Eventually, Steel's going to be able to knock him out, but two other players assist on that. A trade does come in for Vanity as he's still alive, deeper on the inside of the kitchen. But once again, exchanged almost immediately. Asuna coming out from 100 Thieves. Try to look for another one here to the back of Snowman. Can't control that one, though, as the shock dart sends him a little bit further back. Oh. In come the knives from Penny, seemingly out of nowhere as well. And we're evened up again, but a big play could still come out from Steel. He's on a massive flank right now, and they're not going to expect it. The res goes out against Whippy. Where is Steel at? He needs to find the impact now as he's losing teammates quickly. There's the first pick from him. Hiko holding on his own as well, and just like that, it's all on Whippy. Hiko fends them all off with a triple connect. Nothing being done over there towards the roster of the defenders. They still get control of the site, though. The B1 play almost entirely for the retake here. Upon trying to push past some of the first bits of utility as well, Hiko going to immediately shut down the first of those players. That's Vanity going out. The other's now trying to split. Two from screens, two going up to Raptors. And we'll have to see if this works. A good start, though, as Thief takes out Hiko. Under these with a great setup here to try and fend off version one, but they're fighting back so well. Thief hops into the mix, so he immediately get taken down. Whippy trying to find some of his own as the trades go back and forth. It's down to Whippy up against Asuna, but Asuna up things, and when things do go awry, they're still able to buy into the next round, make an investment somewhere, and try and get something to happen up against V1, Asuna. but definitely has not been the same way. Under Thieves and Asuna very forward here as V1 will go for the full retake. They back off even on rafters, as they're not worried about all too much just yet. In comes the retake now, though, as 100 Thieves well back into the site. Asuna going to get read out from the Owl drone. Vanity now 
Moving out onto Rafters. Has an opportunity here, but no, Asuna will take one. He'll at least trade himself out, but not before Ethan also gets some damage dealt as well. You should run. Bring us down into a 10 situation here for V1 once again. Outnumbered, trying to work their way back in. We've got a lockdown on the floor as well. Coming out from 100 Thieves, so there's a strict time limit on this. So close to the defuse, and in fact, it does look like they get it for themselves there. It's V1 sneaking in, although... Uh, their win rates per side are actually tied at 56%. So it's kind of back and forth as to if they're successful, uh, successful on offense or defense. But definitely being successful on offense inside of this round. They'll take down two. It's Whippy and Vanity off the board as Asuna is doing what he does best. Entry frag. Taking out as many people as he possibly can and getting that spike down yet again for 100 Thieves. It's back to the retake on A for the umpteenth time here for V1. But this time, they get the leadoff pick instead as Asuna goes down. Good pick from Effie's there. 100 Thieves maybe biting off a little bit more than they can chew with Asuna's aggression. Nitro's going to fall next here, and the numbers have been evened out. 100 Thieves, though, bouncing right back. Brings them just down to Penny. They're going to play as well here. They're going to pipe right now to get kitchen control. Turret is going to spot them out, but they're going to be able to get the contest before that turret even fires a shot. Thief quickly makes work of steel. That opens up the B site, but more than likely, they're not... We have to see here because they are backing up now. They just got another pick into the A site. So the smart thing to do here would be to crunch on A. And it looks like they finally decided to do that. And difficult times right now for 100 Thieves. And what an amazing play here for version 1. Continue to poke and prod around the map. And finally, finding some soft and safe space inside of Kitchen. Work their way in. Get the KJ kill. And now, snowball it into a plant on A. And frag out everyone while you're doing it. It's looking like a flawless right now for version 1. As it's all down to Nitro. And Thief. When he immediately counters out the integration darts. But is not going to be able to counter out the push from Ethan. Who's able to himself up to the top there. Oh, nearly losing himself on the transition back to the site though jumps a little bit too aggressively out into the open but thankfully he's able to curve that very quickly before he takes too much from whipping the other player from v1 that took up that position vanity is going to be joining the team over here towards a as well and more than likely we'll probably expect whippy to fall back and regroup with them at some point soon as well here as v1 definitely seeming leaning towards that a aggression but almost the viper for 100 thieves to step up to the plate and try and prevent this plant 25 seconds left on the clock and need four in order to get the spike put down but it's becoming increasingly difficult as steel has been able to get one whippy though with the refrag now but he's been spotted out steel gets aggressive with the owl drone they're getting all the intel in the world effie's with an initial trade he'll get another all the way down at snowman he's now in a 1v2 a 1v1 he swings wide for asuna 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 at full HP, Effie's at 23, no can't get the spike down, and he'll have to save, but oh my. Absolutely not, and speaking of full breaths of rosters, I mean, we gotta talk about Asuna. This guy is on an absolute warpath right now to take out version 1, almost single-handedly. Yes, 100 Thieves is here every step of the way, we're seeing some other frags from some folks, but it really is Asuna that's been able to open up a lot of these rounds for them, but oh no, they don't check the far side of yellow. Nitro with 2, almost gets another with the pistol, but it's a frenzy for Vanity to take him down. Version 1 will at least be able to get the spike, but this is looking more like a participation trophy. Still going to have some opportunity here as it is a 3v3. Remember, Penny is locked into that Marshall, so doesn't necessarily have the firearms to try and take this. 100 Thieves, most notably Hiko, trying to stick the defuse. He's almost through, but he'll immediately get off. Whippy's been taken out as well, and 100 Thieves looking to lock up this round as well as Vanity is simply going to leave. He wants to stick with that fan point player to try and stop this push when it moves forward and holds a oh. great spot to do it. It steals a kill away from Penny off the zip line. Unfortunately, take it to a good position on the follow-up there. So Thief is going to be able to trade him. And the unfortunate part for 100 Thieves here is Thief also gets another pickup. We're going to see V1 go for a res as well, but Ethan's ready to stop that. He takes out both Penny and Effie's back-to-back -back before Vanity trades him out. It's a 3v2 in the post plan here. Nitro and Steel looking to retake for 100 Thieves. Oh, this is going to be very difficult for 100 Thieves, especially given Whippy. You can see him all the way at the back of A, all the way by the belt ramp, because, well, he's got snake bites, and he can just play post-plant this entire time. They're going to have to try and find an answer to this if they want to try and defuse this spike. Vanity now playing inside of 410. Still has an opportunity in tow with Thief, who's holding the cross. He's able to get one, but he can't get steel up top and lock the access to B main is looking like V1 are kind of keeping the options open right now, but not paying attention to the push from Ethan yet again, apparently, as he's able to go for two quickly. Just pops up from the shadows to get himself back towards the site as well to make sure no one can trade him out. There you go. Just simply reset yourself. That's all you need. 
walk away with two big frags and loving this play from 100 Thieves. They lock the B site with the Viper ult. They know that there's more than likely going to be people probing out A, just trying to see if there's anyone there. So what do they do? They get very aggressive with the shrouded step of Ethan, get him up onto Beld, and he's able to find frag after frag. So now version one, down to a 3v5 and Asuna in a pivotal position right now. One, two, can he get the third? He can't. Penny, not able to see him on pipes either, not looking to his left, but he's definitely got one below him. He can't even win the fight inside of 410. Pico will take him down for 100 Thieves after a, say a lot uh, about 100 Thieves for the same thing on their offense as well. And speaking of offense, it's V1 with a no-holds-barred rush onto A. It's Lear's out for the team and trying to find these frags. They'll be able to at least get one, but they're taking more than they're giving. It's only Ethan down for 100 Thieves as Effie's and Vanity are missing from the field for V1. 100 Thieves now pushing the envelope. They'll take down Thief as well. It's up to Whippy and Penny as well. This is not going too hot for them. Whippy's been able to keep things locked up Hold inside on. of his ult, but finally the refrag's coming through. They'll find two big ones, and now it's down into the two versus two. No spike down just yet, as that will be in the back pocket of Penny. Still trying to watch out for a flank here, I believe, and they're good to do so. Nitro about to encroach upon Whippy's territory. Will Whippy catch it, though? This is going to be so close, and he does. Just in the nick of time, too. They were both right next to each other. Had to go for a wide swing, though, in order to see the other person, and they do catch it. Hiko, now left alone, still has to play against the Viper's pit, too. That'll be a factor throughout the rest of this round. He'll creep around the outskirts of it, looking for an insertion point. Not going to be able to find it so easily. He can spam, however, if he wants to here because he's got himself the correct rifle, but still can't find the correct Zinni winning side of any of the early engagements. Nitro, get aggressive, though, in order to try and make up the difference here. Pushes himself forward, oh, and so far, things working out great for Ethan. Back out spawn as he's caught two aggressive rotates coming in from V1 there. So they're trying to go for even more now. 100 Thieves of Suna has picked up another frag against Thief. What a win this is going to end up being from the 100 Thieves camp. Ethan, like I said, inside of the attacker spawn. Making quick work of any of these rotates for V1. Penny able to get one more up on the charts for V1, but it's not really going to matter much here. Whippy's still stuck under the control of Ethan. We'll be able to... Oh, somehow that second headshot doesn't take him out. Again, though, he's done this plenty of times. You can see some pre-fire coming in from 100 Thieves almost... Or excuse me, coming in from V1 oh. immediately. Try and counter that out, but no, oh. they don't seem to think he's up here. A little too messy on the spray, though, and Penny gets the kill instead. First entry goes to V1. Now can they get the site? This is where the struggle has been. Once again, they'll lose a player here. Penny's still making the impact where it counts, though, on those knives. Three kills from him with them so far inside of this round. They might as well just go rounds back there. See if they can line up anything like that. Penny still gets spotted here as he oh. pushes forward, but he doesn't care. Drops right down into Ethan's face. Still takes him out. The turret, if he didn't kill it there, may have very well taken him down. It's looking like the here for 100 Thieves is going to continue as they're able to trade out onto both Penny and Whippy. Thief as well, though, exchanging that any bit of information that he possibly can, but he won't spot out Steel inside of Snowman. Doesn't even prioritize the area. The recon bolts out. Be able to at least reveal him for a second. And what a move from Thief. He takes down Steel in the back of sight. Now it's down to a two versus two. These two teams just have a knack for being able to reach equal man count. And somehow, V1 lose it yet again. Now it's down to Effies to try and clutch up. But Asuna is poison orb down and set up for those snake bites. And he also getting the wall down low to be able to cut off the back of Ness. So big things here for version one, but they have to be able to swing through on this and successfully win this round. And this could be quite difficult. They've already lost Penny, their main entry. Whippy has been so amazing throughout this series so far. We're looking for him for big plays and possibly Thief to make a large impact here. Whippy now starting things out with the snake bite. Thief with one, can he get another? No, he can't. Hiko pushing forward. The defensive Killjoy finally locks one up. That's going to be the player that we just saw go down. Whippy will get one, but he can't get the second. It's all left up to Effies. He doesn't have any utility to try and stop it either, but he gets both kills. Can he get the last one as well? He can. And version one sticks inside of it for the that operator instead. We'll see how that works out as 100 Thieves is already bearing down on the B site. They shoot under tube, find two big kills. Thief will get a refrag on Dehiko, but now the trades ensue once again, and we're at equal man count. Effies with a fine, we'll be able to take down Ethan here as the defense rallies together to try to shut down this round. Vandy Ringer giveaway, however, the immediate pop of the Empress needs to be done for Asuna now, because he knows he's going to be potentially going up against both players at once, oh. and he's right to assume that, but it doesn't even matter. Defensive round. Oh. In order to make that happen, let's see if they can do it. Though. A lot of pressure coming in from the generator. It's only going to go one for one. 
see Hiko trying to get out of there, but is ultimately just going to get caught out by Effie. Asuna still alive, though, and still fragging. He's now going to be able to take down Vanity. Missed the transition from Thief to the upper rafters, and apparently Steel never got the call. So Thief gets himself two more for triple on the round. Nitro, now the last one standing in a 1v3. These offenses continue to win out here on Icebox and lock somebody into a clutch moment. It's on to Nitro now to try and... Big Bite's not in fast enough either, and the plant's down for 100 Thieves. So post plant again. Not the best angles for 100 Thieves to be able to work with here, but certainly enough to play for. And just no site control in the actual plant position there because they had to use the toxic screen in order to get their plant on the ground. They never took full control. Now we're going to start to see the issues of that come fold. Effies with the great usage of the chalk darts coming out here. He's going to be able to get two for himself. Trades do come in from 100 Thieves, and we go to a 3v2, but V1 still has too much control. Down for the initial frag and Thief off the board already. 100 Thieves have delivered the first blow. Asuna looking for more as well, and he's going to get it. A quick peek to finish off Vanity will dispatch of the drone as well. There is going to be at least one player from V1 trying to work their way out onto B, but as you guys can see, that'll quickly get handled by Nitro. Whippy not going to be able to get caught. Or Whippy will be caught there. Into a quick end for him. Just Penny and Effie's here now, so looking like this match is not done as of yet. Unless we can see an incredible effort from these two players to bring on a 2v5. Unfortunately, though, with those odds set against them, they're just inching their way into the site, hoping to get an entry opportunity, but so far, it hasn't been presented to them. Using Penny, now just leaves it all onto Effie's in a 1v5. The only damage being done, about that half of HP they traded onto Asuna when he made his aggressive push earlier. The Shock Dart? No, nope. unfortunately, not going to kill Ethan, and ultimately, while he will trade him out in the second Shock. Push Siege back into Snowman. Penny working his way up, trying to hold a nice angle here for the cross, but it's not going to get done. Asuna with the Leer, he'll peek out from Yellow, take down Penny. That's an opt down, as well as a possible plant here as well. This one way that keeps getting set up by Whippy is kind of interesting because it, it does allow 100 Thieves to get themselves across from the times I've caught so far. has been two or three occasions where Whippy actually hasn't been able to catch opponents going past that, that uh, cloud that's set up for him and allows 100 Thieves to get themselves behind Yellow and eventually, in this situation, allows Asuna to swing out there. So the Poison Cloud is a little bit interesting. It's coming out there from Whippy. It's definitely having mixed results, but now we're going to see if the positioning they have on site is enough for them to retake here. It's both Whippy and Thief. We'll get back into the action. Hiko and Nitro, they'll trade that right back out and everything falls to Thief in a 1v2. He can't maintain against Nitro and 100 Thieves push ahead. Fantastic stuff from 100 Thieves on that, but now they have to win this defensive round. And this is looking more like the same, but instead of stacking things more towards kitchen and mid, uh, this is looking like a tube play as well as a lower hold and a Ethan on said tube play and end up getting taken down early here from Whippy. Good opener from Whippy, takes out Ethan as well, has been one of the more front and forward players here from 100 Thieves, and on top of that, one of the more clutch ones as well, so big asset to this 100 Thieves roster getting removed quite early from the round. Whippy, in position to possibly catch another one, and he's going to do it, it's probably the strongest one on 100 Thieves as well, as Asuna goes down. Whippy feeling confident about himself here. He's got to be a little careful. Steel is close by, although he's taking quite a bit of damage from the Decay. Obviously, we'll get that back, as we're seeing now, but wanted to try and play inside of it in the hopes that he might be able to sneak off one or two. Won't be the case. In fact, V1 are continuing the Rampage now. They've moved on to the A site, have taken down Nitro in clean fashion. Hiko responds with at least the Shock Dart kill against Vanity, but that's the only one that's gone down for V1. It's a 2v4 here. And a 2v3 now. Steel's been able to find another re-entry kill the top of the ramp leading to upper rafters. Steel's going to rotate over towards screens. Hiko will take up the mantle at rafters instead with Penny having a complete overwatch on that. Steel, same fate will more than likely befall him as you're going to have Thief keeping an eye on the cutoff. These players from V1 are split up. That's not really going to matter. They're consistently picking up their kills as we've seen right there. Thief and Penny finishing two of the players from V1. Sage, as well as one other. But yeah, Steel not going to be ready for the fight when it does come his way. Vanity takes him out, but we still have the large majority of 100 Thieves committing to this site here. Is V1 ready for this? Is Vanity ready for the rest of the team to come his way? That's now the big question. Gets the first kill. As soon as up next, and he's going to be able to take him down. Hiko with a double trade, though. Taking down both Vanity and Effies. Just barely getting this spike down onto the ground. He immediately has to fight and is not ready for the challenge. So V1 going to bring it down all the way just to a duel versus Nitro. Nitro gets onto the site. Does have a smoke to play into. Rippy will push forward, tap into it, confirms Nitro's on the inside. There's a lot of time right now, but he's out of Toxin, so now he's got to get aggressive. Gets the first kill. Over on the other side towards B, and that should be happening right now because in comes the execute. 
is quite harsh, but a fantastic recon bolt gets so much information for the defense of 100 Thieves, but the trade still ensue. It's a 2v3 now for V1. Hiko with some shock bolts and a nice lineup can try and stop this spike from going down. They'll at least get the spike picked back up, but now Nitro takes down the Thief. These offenses just not coming easily for both of these squads right now. Penny trying to make a big play now. Gonna put the Cloud Burst down, tries to find the initial one. He can't get the second steal with the shift up the rope. Can't be on the other end as they deploy their own poison cloud, but now Thief gonna push through the stream with success as well. He's able to take down Asuna. Nitro with another trade. Whippy holding on though, keeping the defense in controls. Now we go down to a 4v2. Steel and Hiko, the last two players left, holding on to control by Yellow. Will that single position be enough for Steel? It's enough for him to get aggressive at least. He swings out and finds Effies. One more for him before finally going down to Vanity. Now it's just a 1v2 for Hiko. He gets the first one. And he's still going to be out in the open as well. No smoke to support him either here. He goes, has to play this out on time, but he nice. Oh no, tries to get the kill, but doesn't end up happening. Vanity starts B. We're looking to Ethan to see if he can get this flank off early. He's still trying to push the envelope mid. He's going to hold it out. Soon with a fine though. Grabs Vanity, gonna be able to dispatch of him before he can contribute to the inside of the site effort. The rest of the team does flood their way in, they get the control, they've not been able to force Asuna out, but he's taking a lot of damage from the Sova utility. Chalk Dart's working their way in, Hiko assisting though, takes out Epis before he comes up wrong. Big swing from Asuna to find the kill, but an even bigger transfer from Whippy as he takes them both out of the fight. Looking for more here, two players still to go, looks the wrong way though, and gives himself up to Nitro. Stuff, and uh, speaking of impressive, we're looking to Penny to try and be all of that, and a bag of chips for Thief, but it's actually Thief instead for version 1 that takes him down, and he'll get traded out as Asuna takes 2, he'll take Thief with him just to make sure A is in their back pocket, and this is more than likely a spike going down, version 1 have to try and clear out the site, Asuna absolutely electric right now, across the ropes and everything else, can he get the flick, Whippy shuts him down, but it's the rest of 100 Thieves, it's out for them very very well on the inside of that round, but now they're back on the defensive half one final time here I believe as well, to try and slow things things down and pick up one round that would be needed to push them over the edge and get them this map, which I'll be honest, I did not expect them to win this at all. Between the two squads, but Thief in version one moving quite forward now. Asuna finds a nice frag with the one way. Whippy with the refrag though. We back down to equal man count as well. No slowing down now. And of course it's Asuna to jump into the pit and start the war in between these two yet again. Hiko simply sitting in spawn knows someone's going to try and rotate through kitchen. And he's definitely not wrong. It's Asuna being forceful yet again though and he's going to get a kill because of it. Whippy not prepared for anyone to rotate that early. And now it's down to a 4v2 post plan for version 1. Had a real play building up there for V1 if Whippy was able to escape and get back out onto the B site. He's the one who catches that there is literally no one holding that site. But now there's going to be a very glaring issue here for V1 in their post play. They've only got one player on the site. The one who was supposed to flank and surprise has already been caught. Everything's down to Vanity and he doesn't stand a chance. Trying to push down on this too, going all the way towards the double door position. Whippy seemingly ready for a fight on the inside of Window, but not ready for the jump. Asuna keeping his presence strong inside of map 2 as he gets the first kill of the map. Ethan follows it up with a second so far, the only one able to trade anything out here for the attackers, but Vanity also going to jump in on this as well. Thankfully, the Thieves to continue these moves has a, have a possible flank here from Garage. Oh, and it's going to work out so well. No one paying attention as of right now. Nitro with one. Can he get the second one as well? No, it's being handled from outside. Tries to make the move. Nitro clean it up instead. Penny will take down Nitro, but now he's locked out of the site. 100 Thieves is coming in from the V1 camp looking at it now, so they're actually going to try for something here. Well, they're at least going to stack up on Spectres and Sheriffs, trying to deal some damage to this economy, but not happening as of late. Penny's going to be down for the opening frag yet again here. As well, V1 trying to pick up the pieces. 100 Thieves sitting tall on A. It's Thief moving forward. He'll get the jump spot, not able to get any of the frags sitting in front of him inside of short. Asuna dashes into Whippy. He'll pick up a Spectre. Tries to get the frag onto Effies, but cannot do so. This round so far for version 1, going decently down into the 2v. Tim completely, excuse me, I thought he was trying to send it out towards long the block Ethan, but just self-obscuring as they don't have the time to fully clear out the site. There's going to be another one, and he uses it as a distraction. Beautifully done by Vanity as he takes down Ethan. Version 1 now with an opportunity 
Played this round out to the fullest, pushing it all the way up through mid, going through A link and into the back side of the site. It's Vanity all over this squad right now with a triple kill. It's down to steal, but the cross section, a little too difficult for him to deal with right now. He'll get the one onto Effie's, but they weren't playing the crosses. Now with an opportunity to shut this out. Can he get the halfway mark? He can. He tries to stick it, but not. This is smokes are damn near a necessity when it comes to this map. Finn. Great timing on the swing there. Vanity has no clue what hit him. It's going to be a nice, quick, secure, clean pick there inside of the oh. garage. Suna with a nice one as well here against Penny, fending off some of that pressure towards B. They were trying to build towards a pinch, but they've lost both of their angles of attack so far. Vanity going down in the garage play. Penny going down on the attempt to get actual B control. Hiko able to take down Thief as well after he punishes Steel for his own aggression. Ultimately, with 100 Thief still very much controlling all of the map right now. Spike also down, I believe, in the depths of B. There it is right there. So no easy way for the attackers to retrieve that. They're unfortunately locked into a commitment onto B to at least left. try and get control of the spike back, but they are slowly being pinched out from all directions. So ultimately, this just does not look good for V1 here in the 2v4. Yeah, this cross is so strong right now for 100 Thieves, and Asuna has not missed. Goes for the shot, not able to get it. Oh, Cloud versus Alice to try and save him. Yeah, Caster's Curse not working in their favor, but can he get the second one? You never miss twice, John. That's the trick for 100 Thieves. Commitment to the B site coming out pretty much immediately. The pit's gonna go down with pretty much no delay either. We are gonna see some kills start to be triggered back and forth. Not going to affect the attacking Viper as the pit stays well and secure inside of that site, and 100 Thieves have a tough task ahead of them. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this one john whippy with the vipers pit seekers out but he's brought the judge to the party he only has one more shell though and it goes right in between the 200 thieves defenders they're trying to re uh, regrass b hiko assisting in that department is he'll take down penny it's down to only two remaining for version one as 100 thieves are continuing to try and clear them out and that requires the clear window but now they have to worry about thief down thief. low can he stop it he cannot the dark cover just got me one Pushing themselves forward, definitely leaning towards a heavy garage play inside of the early round here, but keeping assets back closer to watch for the rotates from A, as well as keeping pressure out of C long or two. Ethan, oh. three man success, pushing forward from this position once, and he's going to find that success again. Penny going down, catching him in the middle of the Cloudburst send out animation there. Steel, though, with his own aggression, now able to add a second one onto the counter for the 100 Thieves roster as well. Once again, they're getting pinched out at all of the angles they're trying to attack from here, so they have no option to go but forward. Moving in, though, that seems to be the thing that's working. Vanity with the double equalizes us back into a 3v3. He's gonna get that plant down onto the ground. Well now into the post plant here for version one. They do have Effies with Hunter's Fury, so have an opportunity here. Try and play it out with the ultimate. Looking for some early kills here if they're able to procure them, but Vanity working his way back down C long. They've been fully set up to watch this flank. They'll push Whippy out towards the actual lobby area as they'll start holding down stables. So Rough ship right now for 100 Thieves. They have to try and clear out Cubby inside of C Long. It's the Hunter's Fury to make sure they can capitalize on this. Hiko with the swing. He'll take down Vanity, trying to push forward and find the bow-wielding Sova. Steel will no. take down Whippy. Effies gets one, and no, it can't be done. Long to deny the plant, or the defusal there once again. So beautifully done once more by 100 Thieves on capitalizing. In that case, it was misuse of utility. We're already in the action here for round eight. Teddy's leaped into the A site. He's not alone either. Whippy's with them. They've lost Vanity in the process, but they do have control. Yeah, sadly, Penny has been badly wounded on the entry. Only 11 HP, but any singular round from that op of Asuna will take him out. But speaking of that, Nitro, actually the one on the true entry, is he'll take down one of the members from down low. It's now a 3v3 in between the two as V1 continue to hold on to A. Penny on an off angle gets cut down from Ethan. He steps up to the plate now with the Spectre, but he can't get it done either as 100 Thieves try to force their way in through the bottom of A. It's Thief inside the Cloudburst, shifting back and forth. He can't get the frag. Swings over towards short. Come out from Ethan towards mid two, however, so that's going to probably give a single that there's not a lot of pressure here in mid itself. And the fact, they need to investigate towards A. And all the action is well exploding out onto this site now. But 100 Thieves still holding on, seemingly without too much of an issue here either. Petty tries to sneak forward. He goes down. That was the last of the aggressors that were naturally here in A. Effies has arrived, but he's the rotate from mid, and unfortunately, from 100 Thieves. 
Only three rounds left to try and make an impact here too. Suna with an uncharacteristic miss as he swings out there, nearly kills Effies to be fair, but is not able to get the finalizing blow. And the problem is, he can't get to a good enough position quickly enough, so the extra aggression coming in from B1 there, specifically from Vanity, takes him down. Penny gets some success to find Steel over on the A link also. Still gonna be... More trouble to come here for the 100 Thieves roster also. Now Whippy has deployed the pit. Really block out access in the site. However, with that said, Nitro sneaks out another kill there. And it's against an important player as well. Penny goes down. Sit in the 3v3 here. Kind of inch his way forward, but not going to work out. Vanity catches him. Whippy as well with the shutdown against Nitro. And it seems finally one of these post plants from B1 is going to leave them on now. Doesn't seem like... 100 Thieves have too much of a read on the current situation. All except for Nitro gets a nice leadoff pick on Long. Ethan will do the same as they're trying to exit Garage. Steve finally getting out as well as the Spike getting placed down. Effie's with control as well, but it's a 2v4 now for them going into the post plant. And nothing truly to be done with this post plant when it comes to the utility department. A quick trade in between the two, and it's a triple stack for 100 Thieves inside of CT. Not going to bode well for your future. So we'll see if they're able to get anything done here, but this is still going to be quite difficult to try and gun out. They know Ethan has me playing here. You see them prepared. One, two, can he get the third? He cannot. Finally, someone will shut him down, but not before Hiko does what he does best. Pops at Hunter Sphere, knows exactly where that door is on the map and he's just going to steal the round away just not able to win out their initial engagement so we'll see if they're able to try and fix that up here on the defensive half as it all starts now version one out and about and vanity with the lead off pick not gonna be the only one that gets a kill here too whippy's able to steal the second vanity gets his own personal second right after that so 100 thieves the entire push is dead before he even really gets out onto the site unfortunately just the one odd buy and that would be the round as well as more than likely the game for 100 thieves and say well within the right to take this one currently up five rounds as they're knocking on the door of a yet again but finally thief will be the one to shut it moves into a pretty solid position gets swung on by three separate people though as asuna does his job and does his job well he'll take him down and open up the site this is a spike plant opportunity if i have ever seen one version one though ready at the gates you can see penny prepared to hop out but no it's actually vanity who hops right out of heaven he'll get taken down from nitro hiko following through as well it's just down to whippy in a one versus three and you said it yourself blue what can they possibly get done and smokes around as the spike goes down He's going to see if he can work out with the drone to get as much intel as possible. Unfortunately, he doesn't really see a lot from what we caught on the spectator feed there. Either way, though, Effie's able to line one up with the pistol here. Taking Ooh. down Nitro, but Asuna moving forward. Still with the knives in hand. Will the player just as quickly. The right click is not going to take him down, though. So still going to be an exposed position here. In fact, it all goes down to Hiko. But we are so, so low already. And he's trying to jump onto that. Hiko actually can't line up the spray so easily here. So Vanity... No, okay. It was a little round. Oh man, this is this is a very, very tall task for V1. This is extremely, extremely difficult. Just looking across the scoreboard right now, you can tell that version one are to be done. He's creating chaos with some of these dashes in, but there's nothing really to be had for version one in those scenarios. It just continues to go 100 Thieves way, and we'll see if it happens yet again here as Steel and Vanity have both been knocked down. Nitro is going to teleport to the back of sight as Ethan takes control of logs. This is a spike plant going down on C very soon. Right, so time to see once again if 100 Thieves has what it takes to try and shut this one out. Got it into an even situation. They've got full control over the site as well. No one from V1 has any access to get back in. They're not even lining up for a flank either is going to be the issue, but they've got that ultimate fuse. It is going to get immediately countered. So we'll have a little bit of a laser battle between these two players. Hiko will be able to isolate out Whippy and find him as well. Thief so far, the only one from V1 that's picked up a trade. So we're now in a 2v3. It's a straight line of defense here from 100 Thieves. They try to close this one out. Penny with a good re-entry. Effies as well finds Asuna inside of the smoke. So once again, Hiko needs to save the day. Smoke goes out to cover the defuse, but no, it's not going to work.